I just kidding. All right, this tutorial is to show you what goes into painting for the elephants. Um, we do not have to worry about painting trunks or any major features on the elephants um, because they are going to have a 3D sort of some sort of attachment somehow. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but the elephants will basically be gray with some details of their wrinkles um, and baby elephant will have a little bit of pink in her cheeks and she'll be a little bit lighter gray than the rest of the elephants. Other than that, all the elephants are essentially the same, uh, except for Colonel Hathi. He will have a few more wrinkles. We'll just have to see how that kind of plays out. But or the, she. The basic elephants are um, are just two shades of gray, um, a lighter gray, a darker gray for accents, um, two brushes, a larger brush and a smaller brush, a pointed brush for the accents. Um, that's about it. So, the elephants are very easy, just so you know. Kendall's going to help me again. <laughs> be my subject. So, here we go. Someone's gone. All right. So, again, um, if you haven't um, used this paint before, it's water-based and it goes on really thin. It covers really well. You'll need some drying time if you're going to need to do more than one co um, one coat on any one. I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, I like to start with the eyebrows um, and paint paint over those just to give it time to dry within their eyebrows. Um, uh, and again, I don't know. You probably have not watched the monkey videos, so the paint will sometimes look as though it has bubbles in it. Um, that usually gets better as it dries, and also if the darker the colors are, the less noticeable that you'll be able to see that. Um, you want to give you want to give the coats time to dry in between, just because they. Um, it makes it easier to do another to paint over anything. If it's dry, if it's a little bit wet, it blends more easily. Um, there's nothing real. Um, it's succinct about how to do this. I just sort of paint really lightly. Um, try not to get too bogged down in the, the minor details. And making it so precise. Um, as you paint around the kid's eyes, it's it's um, just be be mindful of the lower lids. They seem to be okay with when I paint their upper lids, but lower lids they get a little gets a little bit funny. Um, we'll have bobby pins and things like that available to you to pin kids' hair. So you don't run into what just happened there, which is getting the hair in the paint. Um, so you can sort of see, lean, lean in a little bit, honey. You can sort of see how it looks sort of bubbly, but it's just because it probably went on a little thick. Look at me. And if you give it a give it a few seconds to dry, when you and you go over with the brush again, it will. Um, It'll smooth itself out. It'll smooth out. Um, if you're doing several kids, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and have two going at one time to allow for drying time. Um, in between that way you make sure the coats are good and dry before you try and go over it again with another layer of anything even if it's just for accents it just makes makes the process a little bit easier and faster more efficient he said um, it's just a solid cover or sorry a solid coat 
of the light gray. And we, we just didn't want um, the, the kids to be washed out um, with really saturated, really dark colors. Um, because it gives away their facial expressions. You can't see them. Yeah, you can't really see facial expressions when the, when the color gets too dark. Um, we want to be able to see what they're, what they're doing to give their characters life. To bring their characters to life. Um, go ahead and paint their lips. You know, their lips is probably going to be something that um, will need to be touched up really well. Um, you'll, you know, in between the shows. But so, so that's sort of. If you haven't seen Bagheera, it's not black. It's um, kind of light gray because we want to see her facial expression. Mm -hmm. We found that the dark colors were really, really harsh, and um, We wanted to be able to see what happens with them. So that's um, just a, the basic coverage of the gray. Um, and so most of the elephants are just going to have, we're going to, I'm going to go in and show you the wrinkles. Um, there's nothing precise about the wrinkles. You just kind of make it a real easy free-handed motion with the paint. Um, and again, the, many, the main differences will be that baby elephant's going to have some pink on her cheeks when she's done, and um, Colonel Hati's going to have more pronounced wrinkles, I think. But generally speaking, this is the this is just for the basic um, elephant. All right, turn back around. I'm going to use a fine brush that's got kind of a point to it. Um, to do the wrinkles and just use the darker gray that I have. Um, I start at the top. This may not be the colors I have, may not have enough color difference to be able to tell what we're what we're doing. In fact, I'm seeing that that's definitely the case. It doesn't look like there's much difference. But you can sort of tell. Where we're going with the, the wrinkles on them. I'm not sure where their trunks are going to be in relation to this, but... It's meant to have um, the look of the elephant features. And like I said, baby elephant will be pink just right here. And we will our cheekbones. Our cheeks a little bit. Um, that's it. It doesn't take very long. Um, the main thing will be just, you know, making sure that the paint dries and you've got your coverage the way you want it. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I did mention in the video I did with the monkeys that my goal uh, and my hope is that we have enough people that I can sort of be an extra resource and walk around and fill in the gaps and answer questions and um, do that sort of thing with everybody uh, rather than have my own dedicated group so I can just help everybody walk around or help everybody get their their faces done. I have a feeling we're going to have some, you know, there's going to be places where we just need extra hands. Um, we will have crews. Um, the goal is that you're going to have a kit to work out of. It's going to have all the colors and all the paint brushes that you're going to need. 
uh, for your characters that you're painting for the shows. So you're not, there's not going to be a lot of guesswork. You shouldn't have to mix up the paint. I'm going to take on that responsibility to make sure that everybody's got their paints and has enough. Um, and then we've got lots of brushes. So if we find that we're short brushes somewhere, we've got plenty of us that we've got a large supply of those. Um, I want to make sure that this is as easy as possible for the folks that are coming to do it because you don't need to spend your time running around trying to collect supplies. It's more important that you are able to get the paint on the faces. Um, hopefully this tells you most of what you need to know if you're going to be painting the elephants. And um, again, my name is Emily. If you have questions, I will try and answer them for you. Thanks. The color we're using is Moonlight White and Gray, just so you know.